right. So we'll start with the recollections planner for this week. I can hear the kitten playing in the background. We'll see how long that keeps her occupied because she seems to, you know, I know there's a lot of lap dogs out there, but apparently I have a lap kitten. I didn't know that cats were like that. <laughs> Most cats could care less if you look at them or not, but she's a, uh, wow, she's very clingy. I need one of them little backpacks to carry her around in. <clears throat> and I will apologize for coughing. I, with the weather here in Ohio being cold, and I mean, I know it's nowhere near the mess they're having with Hurricane Irma and stuff down there in Florida. But <clears throat> I think I'm starting to get me a little bit of a chest cold, so hopefully that will pass quickly. All right, but anyway, today in my recollection planner, I'm using this fairy kit from Taryn's Sticker Shop. So it came with glitter headers. It's got all these pretty full boxes and your trackers and bill dues. All the half boxes, quarter boxes, some washi strips and flags. <clears throat> all your um, little todays and to dos, your meals. Some of these little flags, I like those. I'll probably use those for my uh, overtime tracker since there are five of them. Your check boxes, your um, weekly strips for the. <clears throat> Wow, the days of the week, all your heart, uh, your check banners, some half boxes, a bunch of little icons, Friday, date night, me time, laundry day, and the big washi strips, and some more quarter boxes, weekends, and some uh, more like um, not necessarily deco, but icons. So I'm using those, and then from Jan J Sticker Co. I pulled out my pink glitter coffee cups because I like to put coffees on there and the pink will go good with that kit and then <clears throat> I'm using her daily chore stickers and what I like about these is that they're black and white so you can add a little bit of color to make them match any kit so I did just a little bit of coloring making pink purple and blue I just used these <clears throat> a set of seriously fine felt tip markers that I got um, they're like .07 <clears throat> is the size, so they're very small. And I got them on Uli, O O L Y dot com. They're like $16 for a set of 36, so I didn't think that was bad at all. And I think when you first sign up, you get, um, if you go sign up, they'll email you like a coupon for like 10 or maybe it's 20% off your first order, which kind of almost covered the shipping. So I got this and a couple other little things, but I like the markers. Because these stickers are matte, but they've got like a plastic underlayer in them, so the marker dried on them, and I like that real well. And I do PR for Jan J Sticker Co. The code for her shop is Vanessa25, and you can save 25%, and I'll put that down below. And then for the clips today, because this is a fairy and butterfly kit, I went with kind of, we'll say fantasy themed clips. So I got this pretty pink butterfly that I got from a buy-sell trade board, so I don't know who made it. I got this lovely unicorn from the angel shop. Oops, it's very pretty, so I'll use her. I got this little owl wearing a little flower <clears throat> headband from the Felty Depot. And then I got my kitty corn from Threadhead's Designs. So those are the clips I'm using. I think they kind of go with the kit because it's fairy. And well, they're mostly all pink. And we all know how I feel about pink. So we'll go ahead and get started and see how long the kitten keeps herself occupied. Oops. And of course, I immediately ripped my sticker. That. Like there may have been a couple little places that the cup wasn't quite exact, but that happens sometimes. There we go. All right, so I want my butterfly wings to go the right way. And I 
Oh good, I can peel this up. Oop, it ripped it a little bit, but that's okay. <clears throat> I apologize ahead of time. I've had a pain in the back of my hand, so my hand is not wanting to work right today. There we go. And I think it goes with the green, so I'll just leave it there. And <clears throat> I do use a recollection planner. Most of the kits I buy are for the Erin Condren, so there's always just like a little bit where it don't quite fit. But it's usually close enough that it doesn't bother me. I suppose I need to look for some shops that specifically sell kits for the Recollections Planner. But I have a couple of trips coming up. So I've not been buying as much. I have seemed to have gotten really lucky here over the past few weeks. And I have... I've actually got... Four Happy Mails I got. Two were small orders that I made, and then two were prize packages. <clears throat> and I have another prize coming in the mail, so that's pretty neat. Alright, and I think I do want to use the glitter headers. Never want to pass up a chance to use those. And we're going to go with pink, green, and blue. So I'll kind of pop all the pink ones up. And that'll help me get my days and my weeks all lined up. the glitter. Oops, put that one on crooked. <clears throat> I haven't done my nails yet. I figured I'd do them this evening because that's a lot of times why I don't get the stuff filmed because it seems like you take the nail, I do my nails and then sometimes it takes forever for them to dry. So I thought there's a couple shows on this evening that I wanted to watch because I don't watch a lot of TV. Mostly I'll have it on for kind of like background noise. But I do like like the great food truck race. And of course, Walking Dead will be starting next month. And here's, here's my little lap cat. So let me back up here and get her on my lap. So that she's not tearing me up. Oh, silly thing. All right, so we got the, the pink ones, and I need my days of the weeks. Mm. Okay, so I want to I'm write the numbers in, and Monday starts with 11, so I'm going to use this nice bright pen. has all my days on it, my numbers. <clears throat> Get the pen out of the way. Mm, these are a little bit wider, so I can start them over here.
And I finally figured out that as long as I let this kitten sit on my lap, she tends to do a little better. She's not quite as nosy. And like I said, she is a lap cat. Although when I was coloring my little daily chore things in, because I had like my, here's like the edge of my desk, I had my thumb hanging here. So she was trying to eat my thumb, silly cat. I think she thought I was trying to play with her. Animals, you never know. Eventually she'll probably grow up and mature and be all boring and then I'll wish that she was playful like she was when she was a kitten. She's losing her kitten look because she's a Siamese and she's starting to get that Siamese look which can kind of be kind of almost like she's grumpy looking when she's not. It's just the way that she's colored because she's got a lot of the dark on her, you know, like a classic Siamese, I guess, that you see in pictures. Her around her nose and eyes and her ears and her paws. But she is a punk, punky little cat. So there's the days of the weeks. <clears throat> see what I did last week. Yeah. I think this week I want to. Okay. Yeah, this will be a minute. Alright. So I'm going to start here. Turn it upside down. She's got, this is another one of the great big kits that has a ton of stickers. So I am sure you will see parts of this kit again. Probably in my many happy planner because that's where I tend to always use my extra stickers. the green glitter headers so I will pop them all up She went with a real chunky glitter on this kit, and I like that. Very pretty. I actually have a whole week with no stinging doctor's appointments. Woohoo! I actually got a few months. Just that time of year where you gotta get physicals and all that, and I put that down pretty crooked, so let's fix that right back up. Alright, that one up. <clears throat> I do like these half boxes. So I think we'll do a half box here. I 
love how they're curved. I think that's very pretty. Okay, just making sure I hadn't messed up and I want to use this mushroom one because I like it a lot. And I want to put in my daily chore sticker. Colors don't match exactly, but close enough, and it makes it kind of stand out, and I like that. I think maybe I need to buy some kitten steps. That way, instead of jumping, she can just climb steps to get on my lap when I'm sitting in a chair. Silly thing. There's my daily chore sticker. Alright. And then I want the blue. There. You where you want to be? Silly thing. And the only thing is, knowing that she likes to sit on my lap, I have to sit back a little farther. But I don't know, maybe it'll help keep my head out of the, the way. I'll have to see when I watch the video because I'm bad for getting my hair in the way. I know I'm getting hungry and I'm going to my sister's here in a little bit. We're having shepherd's pie today. That's the only good thing about it cooling down is it's time for soups and stews and pie, uh, shepherd's pie, casseroles. And I like that kind of stuff. So now we'll do the weekend board at Banner. So I wanted to make sure I had the my glitter headers in there because this may cover them completely, it may not. Nope, you're going to see just a little bit of them. You see? Otherwise I'd have had a hard time. You can see, you can see where they're just barely peeking out, but if I hadn't put them down first, it'd been all messed up. Now there were those flags. There they are. And I'll use my bright pink pen here real quick to write I'm just going to write right here no sense in writing on the mushroom if I don't have to So it's going to cover up my glitter header just a little bit too, but I'm alright with that. See, I like how that daily chore sticker looks. That worked out really well. And you could leave it black and white if you want it to blend in more. You know, totally up to you. I just felt like coloring mine today. And I like the fact that I can color them. But you by no means have to. And 
and I just kind of gotten those markers and wanted to try them out. But you know, I've had them for a little bit. I just hadn't actually used them on anything yet. You know, other than I think I did like an ink test to see if they bled through the pages and they they didn't. Because they're real thin. Alright, so there's my overtime. And now I get to put in these pretty full boxes. Alright, there are eight. So this lovely dream big will go right up here in the corner. to start with the mushrooms. And do butterflies. Do the polka dots. <clears throat> and we'll do the fairies. Butterflies, mushrooms. Oops, I guess. Oh, good. I didn't have that stuck down all the way. I ah, got lucky there. I was able to slide it right up underneath. Let's see if I'll be the same on the second one. I won't hold my breath. Oh, good. I hadn't stuck it down all the way. Yay me. Small little favor, so we'll take it. <clears throat> all right. There's what we have so far. So let's see what we got here. Guess we'll do the sidebar. Alright. So I think we'll use a what all do we have here? I want to do a little things. And we'll use the red one. Just all the little important reminders for the week. But I do want to cover up the days of the week with some hearts. They don't line up exactly, but that is okay. It gives you the general idea. And then use one of these pretty washi strips. I like the thickness right here. And we'll do dinners. And this one I do leave the days of the weeks on.
Okay, we got two trackers in this kit. And I think I will use this one to make myself a third tracker. And I got my other trackers ready here. I probably should start writing that stuff down before I get started, but I always forget. Then, got another mushroom sticker here. It is so cute. I love the fairies in this kit, but I almost might like the mushrooms more. Maybe. I don't know. And then I have this little thin washi strip. We'll put right here at the bottom. I don't quite fill it in all the way. But I'll save the little thicker one for something else. Yeah. So there's that. And then I have to put my coffee cups in. I'm going to put these. Right in this square, right here. Some weeks I'll write on my full boxes. A lot of times I don't, but because it is a little harder to read on the full boxes, sometimes I will write, if I have something a little more personal, I might write on it you know I'll know it's there I'll just put it on there real lightly in pencil where if you're looking at it you can read it but it doesn't seem to photograph well or show up on which I don't usually show them on camera after I've written on them But, you know, just a little tip. Alright, so there's my coffee cups. Love the pink glitter. It matches with those. Alright, so let's do some more of the deco things. So we got Frye here. I think I'm going to drop my laundry day up here. And then I'll still probably write it in my daily chore, but I did like that sticker. I'll need to do the Trash on Wednesday. This 
sleep in on Sunday. I don't sleep in much. Put my planner on Sunday. And it's got a mushroom on it. I hope you can see it. I think my food truck race. Can't remember. It's on Sundays. There's one I watch on. Wow, all the TVs line up. Sunday and Wednesday. Because Wednesday is the celebrity. Hook off. Might be something else. I don't know. I do really like these icons. And I like this step one. And I will put it here. Even though most generally I don't write steps in. I'm going to put this here because I have something I'm planning on doing Friday with my Instagram. So hopefully you'll check it out and see. It is Vanessa76. And we'll take a Monday evening me time. I only get paid every other week. <laughs> so I think I have used most everything. Although, I will say, I did figure out something as far as like storing stickers. So when you get like down to these sheets where, you know, like this sheet here, I've used most of the stickers off of it save for two. So what I have been doing, to save myself a little space, so like this sticker here, you know there's some room here, so I've just been taking my scissors, and maybe you'll like this idea, maybe you won't, but I found that it's, it's working for me. It rids myself of a few sheets. So I'll kind of pull up this extra border, and just randomly cut it off, you know where I'm not cutting the stickers that's on there and I'm making sure that like she's got her shop name here so I'll leave that and then I'll throw this away so this sheet's pretty full and that sheet's pretty full so I'll keep that like that then I'll take like this sheet that's only got two stickers left on it so I'll take them and I'll just stick them on this sheet and then that's another whole sheet I can throw away. So like this one here, it's still got quite a few boxes. So to move all these stickers over to make it fast and simple, what I'll do is kind of hold it down. And if you peel real slow, that it'll leave most of the stickers on there. Yep, see there? And then I throw these away. Then I'll take these and move them right over to the other sheets. And that way I still have them and they seem to stick well. I've not had trouble yet with them peeling up so you know I'm not going to say they won't peel up on you. I've not had trouble yet. I guess that would depend on how you got them stored. And I try not to touch them too much to make sure they still keep their sticky. And then if I run out of room on this sheet, 
I've got room in the holes on this sheet here. So I'll just put the rest right there. And that just gives me, you know, a couple of the sheets less to store. So it reduces bulk and thickness in my binders. And it keeps all the stickers together. So next time I pull this out, instead of having five sheets to go through, where one sheet might only have five stickers on it, now I just have three sheets that I'll use the next time. So everything's a lot easier to look for. So, my video's getting a little long again because I was yapping. So I'm going to put this lovely unicorn here. Then we'll do the pink butterfly, kitty corn, and the lovely owl. So there is my layout for the week. I hope you like it. Please, if so, please hit the like button and subscribe down below. And um, thanks for watching. Bye.